Hello. I thought I would pop in and share an impromptu vlog with you because, as I have mentioned, uh, I'm going to be going um, up to be a leaf peeper in Asheville, North Carolina on Friday, and we'll be gone until the following Friday. And so, what to take with me? Uh, on this trip because I know that I might not have too much time to do any arting. So I have picked these two journals. Maybe both will go, maybe only one. And these two bags will be the only supplies that I will take. So I'm going to have a, uh, a look to see if there is a... No, I'm going to do the other one first. Because on my last trip up to the mountains in Georgia, I took, I believe I took this one with me. Yes, I did. And I worked, uh, I embellished this page a bit. And I embellished this page. There was a piece of collage on it already. And I had fun playing with that. And I did some embellishing here. And so forth. And this one. This one was great fun. I believe I used, um, I took my um, uh, Jane Fonda's um, uh, Color Institute uh, dye pens with me. But this time I don't want to take anything as serious business as that. I want to really pare down. I want to see if I can do it. So, this, this journal has had, as you can see, has had some um, bits of collage included in it here and there. And um, I don't believe that this is going to need anything added to it. So, alrighty, that one is ready to fly. This is from uh, Shannon Green's uh, Etsy shop. Some of her uh, vinyl uh, that has not been glued together. It's a thinner copy. She used that and then she sewed these. And oh, I just, um, uh, I just love these. And then she also included uh, papers. So it came uh, like this. I added the um, my piece of paper, the collage bit, onto the front cover with some of my uh, uh, beautiful uh, black stickers, uh, black uh, em embellishing stickers that I got um, in a trove this summer. And um, uh, if you're interested, I have some of these in my Etsy shop. But she filled this with so many interesting papers. And then I, in turn, went through and uh, added some of my bits, as you can see. And uh, this one is undated, but uh, this is a piece of a napkin. And then some of my art and a little bit of collage that I added here. And a piece of collage here and here. And isn't this lovely? This was right in here. And she put a few of the uh, pieces that she cut from here in the pocket. And so I used that to make another pocket. And another piece of uh, my collaging there. And uh, this was a piece of the paper that was in, the, um, in here. And I just embellished it with a pen. And as you can see, I just generally, oh, and I added some of my, um, from my cherry blossom, one of the pages removed from my cherry blossom uh, altered book journal. I added that, a little taggy, and two of them. And as you can see, this is another piece of um, the vinyl. And I just had great fun putting bits and bobs in here. And so, I'm trying to decide whether or not I really need to add to add any more collaging because I think I got a little tired back here and didn't uh, and didn't do too much. And I'm thinking just a little bit more maybe 
to uh, get my uh, to get my juices flowing. So let me look at the standby. It's right here, always, always, and my yuhu and my scissors and my card. Let's see whether I might need that. And let's see what. Uh, that strikes me as this could stand some more yellow. So let me go into this little yellow bit here and see what's, let's see what might happen here. Oh yes, one of these that almost dropped me to my knees. That's going there to prove that uh, my husband and a screwdriver and a little pounding and banging is just the answer for things. Let's see now, let's have some. Oh, I like that one. And maybe a piece of this one. Yes, why not? yellow, but yellow seems to be where I am with this, so let's see, anything else here? Okay, I'm thinking that might do back here. Oh yes. All right, what will we have here? Now this is fairly heavy, so this might handle this very nicely. Yes. This is a con going to be a combination of a glue book and a book for me to play with on vacation. I'm going to, uh, I will be having some time when my husband is are taking in his bottle airplane contest to sit in a comfortable chair up and look at the mountains and smell the beautiful air and uh, maybe do some uh, pen and ink play in uh, around this might be just what I want to do let's see maybe this one right here mm, then again maybe not this page is very fine. This is, uh, oh goodness, I use this to teach children how to do cursive handwriting. I'm going to put that there because this is a thin piece of paper that I've had for eons. along the back. Yes, I will, but I'm going to use a stapler. See, my my uh, junk journaling is coming in handy. I don't even think six months ago I would have thought of the possibility of using a stapler. I don't even particularly care where it's stapled. There. That's the sound of me and the sight of me liberating myself. Oh my. My nemesis. Where will nemesis go?
right here. Right here indeed. Nope, let's go up here for change. Right there indeed. Well, I've just made an executive decision. This one stays home. I'm going to do this one. Take this one with me. Where am I going to put this? Because I do want to put that. Mission accomplished. Now, looks like I'm down to one, so maybe this will do the trick. Let's hope. Now, I'm thinking that Magnifiers. Cannot do without that. Cannot do without a uh, Stabilo awl. I'm going to sharpen that. a white pen. A 2B graphite pencil. No, I'm going to use one of these instead. An eraser. This is my... Sometimes I just empty this and take it with me. This is a um, Uniball Signo. Uh, number 207 that I use almost all the time. Now, I'm not too tickled with these, but I will take this fine, this fine uh, brush tip. Oh, never anywhere anymore without a Muji. A biggie, my pilot uh, G2 with the big tip, and there's enough ink in there. Absolutely. This has a nice, this is from the uh, dollar store, an R2 rollerball pen, but it has a very, very nice. Uh, dark mark that it makes. Now this is crazy, Carol. You don't need all of these. Well, we'll see. That's a maybe. Fountain pen. Maybe it has finally... Yes, it has. It has given up the ghost. Okay. Dig about and find my refills. Oh, this one? Not this one. Not this one. Now, that takes care of all the drawing and the uh, doodling that I want to do. But I'm thinking this time. In order to give me color, I'm just going to take some Neo 2s. Uh, Now, let's 
let's see what I think I need to have here. Well, I guess a little bit of yellow. Two shades. Green. So that's uh, just yellow, and this one is golden yellow. This is olive. Love that color. Grass green. Old standbys. In case I get rowdy, I can't do without fuchsia. Turquoise. So we have, and maybe because there's yellow, we need a little bit of purple here. How about some violet, Carol? Or this one. I lock. Hmm. With this, with these two yellows, that one. And I think that I'm going to declare that done. Three, six, seven. Good job. All right, let's see again now. Pencil. Eraser, water brush, Stabilo All Black, white pen, Muji, brush pen, the fine one, fountain pen, standbys, color. Specs. That I think is going to be it. <coughs> this a good book to read. I think I'm set. I do hope that you have enjoyed this little quick visit. I will uh, share with you what I do get done when I return from uh, Asheville. If you have enjoyed this impromptu vlog, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate you're subscribing to my channel. This is certainly what I call arting on the light side. I can't wait. Bye now. See you when I get back.